All right, in this tutorial, I'll talk a bit about how you can achieve different uh, patterns by using a Cartesian to polar node in Substance Designer 5. Okay, so what we have here is a base material uh, node, and to it I have plugged a base color, a normal, and a height, all uh, from the same uh, node here, a black and white picture. Uh, and for the time being, what it's plugged into, and what is plugged into this node is a uh, pattern that looks like this. Uh, it consists of a sign generator, which you can find on Substance Share. It's, uh, it's a node or a um, substance basically that I have made myself, and you can download it if you want. And it is a sine wave that is uh, tileable, so and you can change a lot of different uh, settings on here to achieve what kind of patterns you want. And I have run this through a tile generator, and then there is this Cartesian to polar node. Uh, I will talk some in the end of this tutorial about what this Cartesian to polar node is actually doing. But here you can see the result of it. So it's taking these sine waves and it's basically projecting them, projecting them in a circular fashion, so to speak, a polar fashion. And uh, then I have basically taken this pattern and uh, tiled it again to get this effect. And here you can change a lot of these uh, settings inside the sine wave generator to get different results and most of them will give you a a pattern that's tiling quite well and you can just play with it and see what what kind of results you're getting and see if there is something that you like and something that you will be able to use for whatever it is you want to do uh, just a tip on these um, uh, when using this setup. In here you can see there's a kind of black line going through in this direction. If you get that artifact, I have found that using a different um, filtering in my tile generators can alleviate this uh, artifact. So by choosing the image input filtering and change it to nearest in all your tile generators. Uh, let's see there. You can, uh, you can get rid of it. So that's a, 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 another tip. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at another pattern. We can just have a look at this in the 3D view and this is what it look, look, looks like. So maybe you can use it uh, on a wood panel or on a fabric or some sort of tile, uh, whatever you want. So let's have a look at the second, or actually, yeah, okay. So it's the second pattern. It's this pattern right right here uh, in the 3d view we, we get this effect so what this consists of is a four-sided polygon that I have exploded and played a bit with the size and scale it's also rotated in this case 315 degrees uh, and I've taken this uh, pattern and run it through a tile generator to get this this very uninteresting, I would say, uh, pattern in here. But when I run it through a Cartesian to polar node, we get this sort of star shape, which if I tile it again, gives us this pattern. Uh, and here you can try and change some of the settings in here, number X, but this pattern is sort of easier to break uh, and its its tiling is a little more uh, sensitive in that uh, sense i guess so well but you can you can play around with it and see what kind of effects you can get this is this is kind of cool i guess uh, it looks like this in the 3d view so just play around with that and see what you get um, okay, in this uh, last pattern we have a, I'll just change this, uh, 
we have a sort of floral pattern it looks like this and it's also a four-sided polygon pretty simple and it's just rotated 45 degrees I run through a tile generator to get this kind of checker pattern uh, tilted checker pattern and when I run it through a Cartesian polar node we get this as I said it's kind of floral pattern with a, a flower in the middle and just well it's it just goes on uh, you could I guess use a tile generator here as well but I think that the results would be a bit wonky it's, uh, uh, well it's not that bad I guess uh, let's try and oh, it's, it works pretty well and uh, just change this to the nearest and uh, well it's working out pretty okay I think so yeah I guess you can use it that way uh, and uh, yeah let's see if we can change some of these uh, settings up here uh, number X will basically give you more or less of these petals on the flower so increasing it will have more and more of these uh, yeah, well petals in this flower if that's what we're gonna call it and it's in contrary to what I said it's tiling pretty well I think all right you can also change the let's just pull this down to something like six you can change the number y and that's gonna get you more going on in this direction here all right so that was some quick tips about how you can use the Cartesian to polar node to get some pretty fast procedural patterns and uh, ornaments for use in tiles and such uh, and what this node is actually doing is if we have a look at this sine wave uh, and just have a look at what it's doing in its uh, original well it's, it's just a tiling pattern it's tiling in this direction the x direction and when we run it through the Cartesian to polar node instead of tiling in the x direction it's tiling sort of in a polar way so it's sort of um, it uh, has its origin in the center of the picture and the tiling is going in this direction instead of in the x direction so that's how you can think of it I guess uh, if you want to read more about it I would recommend using like Wikipedia or some some sort of um, well resource that's better explaining it than I can so but that's a bit about the Cartesian to polar node and how you can use it to get some cool patterns fast and effectively so thank you